I get sorry. I did you on the timing there. I got excited. All right. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. We've got the sun, we've got the sea, we've got the beach, and there's some surfers out there, which means one thing. We are in Mexico! Mexico. I've got my buddy Mark with me. I'm on a different side of the world, so I've got different colleagues with me, which is very exciting. And today, we're going to do something that we did before in Doha. There are some very beautiful Marriott hotels here. You can actually book them for free using points. And I'm going to try out the St. Regis Punta Mita. And Mark? I'll be in the W Punta de Mita. We're going to see what these two hotels are like against each other. I think it's time to hit the road. Yeah, let's do go. It. Just arrived and I am blown away. All right, so I just got to the W. And look who I'm greeted by. This is, I can tell this is already gonna be a, this is already gonna be a grand old time. at the St. Regis are contained in these little casitas. There's like four rooms in each one. And this one right here is my casita. And up there, top right, is my bedroom, 5104. And we're gonna go and check it out now. Here is the room and it is gorgeous. This is a deluxe guest room at the St. Regis Punta Mita. First of all, over here, big, soft, squishy armchairs. Oh my God, actually so luxurious and comfortable. Can't rest for too long now though. Um, there is also a lovely desk. There's one phone here and also plug sockets that'll help you out uh, if you need to charge stuff. And then there is this unit in the middle which contains television and inside here minibar. Now minibars are often not stocked these days. Is there going to be anything in it? Ooh. Very empty. So my room is located in the jungle escape portion of the property. The jungle escape is sort of secluded from the rest of the hotel and from like the pool area and the beach area, which is super sweet if you're looking for exactly what it's called, the jungle escape. And as you can see, all is well in the jungle. Welcome to room 4122 here at the W Punta de Mita. So right off the bat, you can see that this place is very vibrant, very colorful and lively, and just super bright and spacious. The color palette and theme of the room kind of just screams like fun and party and have a good time. And it just kind of, I don't know, it gets you up in, up in your spirits, you know? We've got a lovely king size bed here equipped with throw pillows, a lovely decorative blanket. At the foot of the bed, we've got a chair slash table slash couch or something? I don't know. We've got a seating area at the foot of the bed. Behind me, we have our friend. Hi, friend. Hola, amigo. We've got like a little mini bar. Let's see what's inside. What? All right, empty mini bar. That's okay. I can live with that. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm digging it. <laughs> Over on this side of the room, there is a walk-in closet with a safe to keep things safe. There are also hangers, shoehorn, shoe brush. I'm not sure I ever have that much use for a shoehorn and shoe brush. We have an ironing board, an iron hidden behind an umbrella, important for those storms. 
and a dressing gown. And I think I might do a bit of a Liam Spencer in a minute with the dressing gown. It's time for the most important test of a hotel. We're here to sleep right, so how's the bed? Let's give it a go. Oh. oh my God, it's nice. It's so comfortable. It's so squishy. Oh my God, I love it. I just need to see what this is like. Oh. Oh. There's a down comforter. Oh my God, this is heavenly. Genuinely, I think this might be the best hotel bed I've ever got in. It is so comfortable, oh my God. All right, let's be real. This would not be a TPG video if I did not jump on this bed. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Whew. All right, not bad. I dig it. It's, it could be a little bit softer, but uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Something that I love in every single hotel is outside space. And here at the St. Regis, every room has a terrace or a balcony, and this is no different. And so on my terrace, I have a big day bed and a seating area with comfy chairs. Now this day bed, let's see, I don't think it's gonna be as comfy as the actual bed, but this would be a nice place to sit down, chill and relax. And these big comfy chairs as well are a wonderful place to sit and watch what's going on. The view is pretty spectacular. We have gorgeous gardens, the swimming pool, and just beyond it, the sea and palm trees everywhere you look. This right here is absolutely my favorite part of this room. This is uh, a room in the jungle escape and it really does feel like you're in the middle of the jungle. Ooh, yes. You just come out here to just write or read or listen to music or anything along those lines. It's super peaceful, super quiet. This is the vibe. This is it. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Last but certainly not least, is the gorgeous bathroom, which has quite a few elements to it that I'm gonna have to show you around. So first of all, we've got a double sink with some gorgeous amenities in the middle. And I've just spotted something that's very, very posh. If stamping the tissues is not posh, I don't know what is. Let's go see if they do the same thing in the toilet. They do. Love it. I'm like actually a bit obsessed with that. So there's a small glass divider between the sink area and here is a shower. There is also a bath set up with this lovely, oh my God, they're fresh. Beautiful fresh flowers, more products just here, some giant candles. Well, they do smell nice as well, very natural. But what is so cool is this, off the side of the bathroom is an outdoor shower. Open to the heavens. It'd be rude not to try it. I'm gonna get changed. Yeah. All right, let's head into the bathroom. Yes, look at this. So this is actually the front of the suite. There are these like wooden panels because of that you get these gorgeous shadows when the sun is facing the front of the villa. Then right over next to the shower, we have a wonderful looking tub. We'll definitely be taking a bath later. You definitely didn't need to know that. And then we got a toilet. And again, all three areas share the same view. So next to the shower, we got a closet door with two robes, very nice. And then on the other side, another closet door with an iron and an ironing board. We've got two sinks over here, complete with two mirrors and two overhead lights. And if you have a whole skincare routine, they got you covered with their skin regimen line. So no comparison is complete without the room service challenge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up this phone and then I'm gonna call room service, order a club sandwich, and then see how long it takes to get said sandwich. All right, let's do it. Hola, can I order room service, please? Can I get a club sandwich, please? 
Um, can I get french fries, please? Okay, gracias. Bye-bye. All right, timer starts now. Oh. Here it is. Hola. Uh, how are you, man? Good, how are you? So, we've got the club sandwich here in all its glory with some fries and condiments. And it only took like 15 minutes. That's insane. From the time that I called, they received the order, started making it, and then they had to bring it all the way to my suite. 15 minutes. What? Doesn't get better than that. And it smells awesome. Sandwich is pretty good. I dig it. I dig it. Bon appetit. Buen provecho. I think that's how you say it in Spanish. Whatever. Bon appetit. That is so nice, refreshing, cool, and to be outside having a shower. Now I think it's time to do a bit of Liam Spencer dressing down action. <laughs> to order room service. I'm gonna order the classic club sandwich. A lot is at stake here. Let's see how they do. Hi, and um, please could I order some room service? Um, please could I get the club sandwich and I have, could I have a spicy margarita? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Bye. Bye. Start the clock. Finally, I think we're on. It's been quite the way, but here it is. Thanks. All right, here we go. The first bite. Okay, I must say it's not as bad as it looks, uh, but it's not the best club sandwich I've ever had. Could be crispier, could be hotter. Chips are all actually all right. It's gonna make a nice dinner, especially with a spicy margarita. I know that a club sandwich is not the most Mexican thing, but it is consistent across hotels that you can order this. So it made sense to keep things consistent. The spicy margarita makes it Mexican. And that is delicious. <laughs> managed to finish most of the plate so it can't be that bad and they promised 45 minutes and I believe that they clocked in at just under 45 minutes it was like 42 or something not that speedy but like I said the spicy margarita wins over and I am in Mexico so of course this is the thing that was gonna make it good. <laughs> gorgeous morning at the St Regis and I'm just leaving my bedroom now to go check out the three amazing pools that they have at this property. I'm so ready for a swim, it's really hot outside. Let's go check them out. Now this resort feels huge and sprawling, although it never feels like too far of a walk to get to where you wanna go. But right behind me here is the Areca pool, and that one is adults only. So I think this is the one where I'm gonna pitch myself up for the day, nice and quiet, no kids. But even if there was, the place is so big, you always feel relaxed. What I really love about the Areca pool, which is right here behind me, is this dramatic, feature going all the way up to reception. So cool. So they have these really cool cabana areas, but I want to be in the sun, so I'm definitely not going to sit in those. But the pool is split on different levels, but I'm going to try out this top level here and take this lovely little section. There's a couple of beds, a comfy day bed. Definitely time for a swim. <laughs>
think my legs are too tall for this because my legs are literally on the ground right now. <laughs> so the pool side is absolutely gorgeous. Lined in sort of beach chairs, lounging chairs. There's two jacuzzis integrated into the pool already. And then at the foot of the pool, you can see the beach. It's like right there, probably like two feet away. Man, oh man, it is hot out here. And I'm currently standing on top of this really cool bridge that leads you from the foot of the hotel all the way out to a great view of the beach. Like, look at that. That's like a Microsoft, like, computer background. <laughs> so we're at the foot of the pool, right here, and then turn around and boom, right there. That's the beach. Literally like one, two, three big feet away and you're already in the sand. Moving a little bit further along the resort. This is more of a party place. There was music here yesterday. There's a real bar there. And here's the second swimming pool along. And there's still one more to go over here. And this is the final pool right on the seafront. This is the Sea Breeze restaurant where you can take your breakfast in the morning. So these cabanas over here are definitely where it's at. It's right up front towards the beach and I'm looking at nothing but ocean and sand and it's just Oh, absolutely wonderful. And uh, things pretty comfortable. I would do a TBG bed test, but I don't think that's probably not a good thing to do out here on a cabana. The beach here at the St. Regis is absolutely stunning. It kind of feels wild and raw, but for relaxation, laying on the sand, and for definitely laying in a hammock, this is the place to be. It feels like a really desert islandy kind of beach and I love it. If you're on some kind of desert island feeling beach and you've got the choice between beds and a hammock, it's got to be the hammock, doesn't it? It's got to be. Oh, this is the one. Yes. So I am all about super bright and super colorful decor, but the room sometimes felt like it was a bit distracting visually. The color palettes and the overall design kind of felt like it was a bit in your face. The views from the balcony were not anything to write home about, but what I did like about it was that it was very calm and very meditative and overall really relaxing. So that really appealed to me. The bed could have been a tiny bit softer, but like I still got a pretty good amount of sleep. Overall, I'd give the room a 28 out of 40. All right, you can't really beat 15 minute room service. I mean, come on, it does not get better than that. On top of the food being super quick, it was also pretty delicious. Considering I've never had a club sandwich before in my life, I'd say it's probably the best club sandwich I've ever had in my life. I'd give the room service a 17 out of 20. The atmosphere here at the W Punta de Mita was sort of exactly what I thought it was gonna be coming into it. It's super lively and festive and bright and decorative. It walks a super fine line between party paradise and sort of luxurious escape. In total, I'd give the W Punta de Mita a 32 out of 40. All that being said, I had a super awesome stay here. The staff was absolutely amazing. So friendly, so welcoming and super energetic. Uh, and the views, you already saw the place. You can't beat the views here. They're absolutely amazing. What a day and what a stay. First up the room, I absolutely loved it. Even though I had the base level room, it felt luxury, it was comfortable. Probably the best bed oh. I've ever slept in in a hotel. Didn't have a coffee machine, that was a negative. But the butler and the outdoor shower were big winners for me. And I give it a 35 out of 40. Next up is the room service. Now, this fell down a little bit for me. The service wasn't that quick. It took 45 minutes for the food to come and the club sandwich, that staple of all hotels, just wasn't that great. The bread was a bit soggy. The one thing that was good though was that Mexican spicy margarita. And that is delicious. That upped the score a little bit, but for me it's a nine out of 20. And the hotel, what an amazing place. There were a couple of blips in service, but other than that, there were so many incredible spots to chill out. Three pools, amazing beachfront. There was 120 rooms here all full, but it never felt busy. There was always somewhere quiet to chill, relax, and have a great time. I give this place a 36 out of 40, meaning the total score is 80 out of 100. Absolutely loved it here, and I really hope I get to come back.
think I might become the hammock guy UK. I think that'd really suit me. Hmm. Yeah, I could definitely do this. A hammock expert.